Welcome back everyone, it is Jacob here and today I'm back with him, the pure slasher 6ix9ine, the absolute most goaded slasher build. Personally, I believe in this game, but uh, I'm running with some randoms, they invited me to a squad, I was like, you know what, why not roll with them? These guys are bad anyways, so I was like, you know what, why not give it a shot? They ended up having a, a pretty good game, they ended up bringing it close, but there's a reason why, and you'll definitely see why. So, um, anyways, you know, we're getting the ball first. We just got off a win. I didn't do, uh, I didn't do much special shit in that game, but, like, you know, I still went off. You see me putting them in the spin cycle right there, getting off with my first dunk of the game, of many, of eight to be exact, but you see me right there getting a steal too, just throwing it down back on his little head, his little do-rag head. You know, I have a problem with people that wear white do-rags. It needs to be black or any other color. It can't be white do-rags. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just have to expose people. Look at this. What? Why do you have those dunks equipped? It's not 2K16 anymore, my friend. I get that block there. And I end up grabbing the rebound. And then I end up finishing it at the end of the break. It's not a contact dunk animation, but that's definitely a contact dunk in my book. You know, he was... He was kind of all over me, and I ended up finishing it all over him. You see me pulling out the takeover. I wanted to get him under the rim, but he jumped a little bit too early for my liking, or else, you know, he might have been a, having a concussion. His head might have got banged up against the backboard of the rim or something, got his head split open, and then he would have been needing to use that headband for a blood rag or some sort of rag. But you see me <laughs> finishing at the other end with a lay, big body lays. That's what I do also as well as dunking you know can't always be dunking but you know i do i do a little bit of both and uh i almost got another steal there but uh unfortunately i reached in i have a very big pet peeve of people reaching in when they don't grab boards that happens a lot during these couple games it happens a lot i cut out a few of them because i just don't like walking back and forth for 45 minutes up and down the court because for some reason not the first person closest to the uh, out of bounds can't inbound it but you know it's whatever but uh you see me getting real bumpy right here trying to play some full court d i do a pretty good job i am he throws up that shit that low key could have gone in if he was a slasher but you know he's not a slasher you know what i'm saying but right here you see me catching the alley at the other end i play both ends of the floor very well at a very high rate you see me trying to full court press again i try to get a steal too but he ends up getting passed and then he passes out because center picks up i don't blame him though i should have played a pick up on the guy shooting a three but it's whatever it's 14 5 if i was playing a little bit more serious game oh sorry hold up full court lob well half court lob my bad maybe he was out of bounds a little bit but um yeah so my teammates and i we're really trying to uh give the ball to me so i ended up forcing a lot of shots and as you can see it's not like letting me dunk anymore because like 2k is just like you know what you you get tired at some point it makes sense but yeah i can do it all day just not too many times in one game you know so i ended up getting cold and um throwing up a lot of shots i edited those out of course but you see me finishing some lays at the other end i got 20 points now and this is pretty much when they started coming back a little bit because i took a long time finally getting these 22 points to end the game but anyways you see him miss the the three right there and then people reaching in uh at the end of a rebound like i hate you see he's doing it again like i hate the fact that People can catch up to you with these reaching animations, like, by so much, and it's it's really freaky. It's really it's really dumb. But you see me uh, checking out what's through the rim right there. I just wanted to see what was inside. Finishing the game off off a little little uh, juke move. I heard they were adding juke moves to 2K20. I don't know I don't know if that's true or not. They're like, if you can do spin moves off ball like you can do in Madden, like if it's gonna be abusive, slashers will be even better. Being able to branch off like Euro dunks, hop step dunks, spin dunks, and you can get, I, I would love to see a juke move, maybe not a spin move off ball, but like, I don't know. But you see me there pretty much doing a spin move, getting uh, getting some right footwork right there. Um, I, I take pride in my footwork, my off-ball footwork. I mean, it's not that hard. I mean, stretches do it glitchy, 
like every single time I play him. But anyways, I would love to see a juke move. If that's even true for 2K20, I hope it is. Um, I don't know if it's confirmed yet by Mike Wong, Wang, Ding Dong, I don't know, or Ronnie. 3k 1k all the k's but anyways you see me getting uh the glitchy behind the back move to baseline and finishing it off with the reverse dunk as always that's what i love doing is my uh that baseline move that behind the back i love doing that move so much not a lot of people can guard it and even then you know there's so many animations that i can like branch off into hop steps spins and all that you see if you don't grab a rebound, stop being a bitch and reaching in. Unless it's a really close game, please don't do it. Like, I know you want to get the ball back because you're upset that you didn't get a, uh, a rebound. I get it. But don't do it this early in the game because if there's going to be 10 fouls in one part game, I'm going to be I'm gonna be upset. Like, it didn't get to that extreme, but, like, you know, you see it bouncing off the back of my head. I don't know why my guy didn't turn around and grab but you see the shot clock winding down ice in his veins he's gonna pull up yeet but his teammates gonna pull up green no it's not gonna drop but you see me leaking off to the corner i'm gonna do my uh either a jab step or behind the back move i ended up messing up right there but um i'm gonna be patient i want to give my teammates the ball a little bit more i was being patient i should have got it on that cut right there but i was a little bit late on the cut being real patient getting good ball movement um seeing what the defense will give us um, that's what being a slasher is all about. You're not always going to be dunking on people every single play. Like, as you see, uh, last game, I edited it out, of course, but you're not going to be able to dunk every single fast breaker, every single play. Because at one point, 2K is like, yeah, seven dunks is enough. You got to start making some lays now. Because I, I don't know why they do that, but wide open, Hall of Fame posterizer or not. At some point, your guy gets, like, um, fatigued and he can't, like, dunk as well for some reason. I don't know. But you see him, once again, reaching after he gets a steal. My biggest pet peeve. Steals or rebounds. It doesn't matter. It pisses me off in both both ways. You see me pulling up from three. I yeet. But I'm pump faking. I'm getting past my man. And almost, I could have definitely uh, made that uh, reverse drop. But I'm going to let this drop, though. Watch this. Between the legs on two guys. You know, defense is not. Uh, that, that defense is not going to cut it on a slasher. Pure slasher. 6'9 max wingspan, you know, this is the best, this is the best a slasher can get, you know, 99 all dunking, all that jazz, you know, it's too good, but as you see, I got my takeover now, and I'm trying to get glitchy off ball, I'm gonna try and hit him with a pump fake, and I'm just gonna walk right by him, because he just ends up running out of bounds, I don't know, I don't know if there's the animation that he got stuck in or something, but, I don't know, but I know for sure I wasn't wanting to go out of bounds to go and dunk the basketball anyways. But you see me with a lovely poke right there. I really wish that would have gone our way. But I ended up uh, lacking on defense and then he ends up scoring. But yeah, you see me trying to get glitchy with some uh, behind the back moves. I end up getting open. Green light with the layup. That's a great layup animation. I love getting that animation. As you can see, it's excellent open. I mean, not a lot of people know about the layup animations this game. Oh my god! I really wanted to get that. I thought the point guard was going to go up with that, and I thought I was going to swat him like freaking Dwight Howard, you know? But anyways, uh, I get a turnover right there somehow. I don't even remember touching the ball, but we're just going to leave that with um, the 2K right there. I don't, I don't really mind. And the point guard ends up splashing three. He's Seth Curry right now, but anyways, the center leaks out he throws down a nice little left hand jam all over the defense 18 to 12 uh the defense is uh looking good right there i try i don't know how we didn't grab the rebound i literally just like smack the the atoms around it you know i slapped i slapped it's i slapped the air and energy it was giving off but not the ball itself but anyways i'm gonna try and leak out they're reaching that was uh i don't know if that po poke should have gone their way but it doesn't really matter um we're gonna be really patient on this possession again i could have been open right there i definitely should have uh gotten the ball right there but it doesn't matter i'm gonna pump fake being real patient with what the defense is giving us like i said you're not always going to get a wide open dunk um in every single case and you know i i show you guys these videos so hopefully i can inspire you to make a slasher because slashers are so much fun like I know slashers don't work all the time, like comp pro am, they don't work all the time. They can work if you're a really good shooter, you know your jump shot well, but you know, like I said, it's not always going to work uh, 
to what you really want all the time and you know you have to get used to that but getting better with the slasher feels so good you see me ending it off with an alley-oop but yeah that's it for the video guys hope you guys enjoyed be sure to drop a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace